Hello and welcome to the latest update from the Met Office. We can expect a different kind of unsettled on Wednesday compared to Tuesday. Sunny spells this time, but with further blustery showers. And it will feel cold, especially in a gusty breeze when these showers move through. It's in fact cold enough for the showers across northern areas to fall as snow above 200 metres. For Scotland, accumulating above 400 metres and a few flakes of snow for the Pennines, the Welsh mountains, even the southwest moors when these showers move along. Now, for the east of England, it's largely dry and bright for much of the day, but the showers make their way through later in the day. And they will be lively wherever these showers occur. Hail, thunder are possible, particularly around the coasts of north and west Scotland, where thunderstorms could be fairly frequent. So watch out for those and a gale force wind blowing for the far north and northwest of Scotland. All in all, a lively day to come and it's going to feel cold compared to Tuesday's relatively brief mild air coming in from the southwest. This air is coming from the northwest. It blows through relatively quickly, so no showers lasting too long, an hour or so at most. And for the east of the UK, it's going to turn drier and clearer overnight with that cold air in place, a frost forming, and further wintry showers affecting, say, northern parts of Scotland. With the frost there, it's a cold start to Thursday with temperatures in shelter spots a couple of degrees below freezing. But for Northern Ireland, Wales and the southwest, here outbreaks of rain turn up by the morning along with a strengthening breeze. So wet and breezy for Northern Ireland, Wales and the southwest for Thursday morning. Those outbreaks of rain make their way north and east. And again, as they bump into that colder air, we can expect a few flakes of snow for the tops of the Pennines, tops of the mountains in southern Scotland. For the central belt northwards, where it takes much of the day for that rain to reach here. And for the far north of Scotland, we keep the bright spells and wintry showers going. But otherwise, it's generally turning cloudy and it's turning fairly unsettled with outbreaks of rain on and off. Heaviest for the south and for the southwest, well, heavy showers replace the early rain and milder air comes in here for a time, along with a strengthening wind. And we could see some particularly gusty winds around the southwest as we end Thursday, along with all of these showers continuing to affect the southwest, but also moving into Wales, northwest and west England. By this stage, the rain becomes slow moving across eastern England into Thursday night and eastern Scotland. And here we'll have to keep an eye on it because it could build up across parts of eastern Scotland through Thursday night and into Friday. And there'll also be some hill snow associated with that for central parts of uh, and eastern parts of Scotland around the Grampians. Now, this low pressure bringing all the unsettled weather on Thursday sticks with us on Friday. You can see out in the Atlantic this very powerful jet stream likely to bring further areas of low pressure and weather fronts our way heading into the weekend. So Friday we'll start off with wet prolonged rain continuing across central and eastern Scotland, northeast England as well and again that hill snow component. Elsewhere it showers and the showers becoming fewer and further between through Friday. A brief spell of dry and brighter conditions across central parts of the country developing for a time before more wind and rain waiting in the wings to come in from the southwest as we head into the weekend. Friday's not quite as cold, but still temperatures of 6 to 9 degrees are not going to feel particularly mild. Lots of different kinds of weather over the next few days. I recommend that you follow us on social media to keep ahead of it all. And of course, you can track it using the Met Office app. Bye-bye.